I still have a hard time wrapping my mind around what actually transpired, what went through the mind of uh, of the attacker. The Quebec City Halloween night sword attack is on the minds of residents with the first anniversary. On October 31st, 2020, a sword wielding man stabbed seven people across Old Quebec, killing two 56 year old Francois Duchesne and 61 year old Suzanne Clermont, and injuring five others. It's surreal and kind of disturbing to think that, um, <clears throat> that we. We were at the restaurant just, I think it was 20 minutes before the murderer passed in front of the restaurant and, and, I, and actually stabbed people right on the corner of the street. I didn't think that you know, we could have been in the middle of it. Quebec City police were on scene just after 10.20 p.m. when the first calls came in. An active search in full force for a man in medieval costume. Police urged residents to stay indoors and avoid the National Assembly area. One resident witnessed police scouring the neighborhood. The K-9 unit was there and police officers were there as well with flashlights and uh, their guns and weapons drawn doing the rounds in uh, in our little alleyway. Just before 1 a.m., then 24-year-old Carl Girouard was arrested, later charged with two counts of first-degree murder and five counts of attempted murder. The man from St. Thérèse, north of Montreal, allegedly planned the attack but chose the victims at random. Why would someone come from somewhere else, from another town uh, hundreds of kilometers away, to come and uh, and trouble the the peace and, and quiet that we have in, in our beautiful historical neighborhood. Suzanne Clermont was a local hairdresser and Francois Duchesne, a marketing and communications director for the Quebec Fine Arts Museum. He was killed right by the historic Chateau Frontenac and Suzanne outside her home. She was a regular customer at the restaurant. She was a pillar of the community. She was one of the old organized neighborhood events. Um, so it was very... Really Shocking, disturbing that somebody that sweet and nice and happy and so we can just do that to her. It's unbelievable. We just, I just can't still compute. So imagine Jacques, you know, her conjure. In the time that followed, a commemorative plaque was placed on a bench in Suzanne's honor. The Quebec Fine Arts Museum created a series of activities linking art and wellness in Francois's name with the help of his family. And so I'm thinking again, you know, the, the gratuity, the you know, the la désinvolture with which the, this violent attack was perpetrated uh, it makes absolutely no sense to me. There's always a um, community barbecue around that area of Old Quebec that Suzanne used to organize. And this year, since she wasn't there, other people stepped up. Residents now saying they want justice and answers for the victims. It's, it's not going to comfort so much the those who have lost a dear one to this attack or those that were injured. But at the same time, uh, I think that closure takes some time and there needs to be a beginning uh, to closure. And I think that, you know, an explanation will be a good uh, starting point for closure. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.